here we go again you see the thumbnail another day some more drama with brian dable more drama with brian dable so a few hours ago a lot of hours ago pat Leonard, beat writer for the new york giants put out an article citing some sources citing some some incidents that happened on the sideline between brian dable and some defensive staff um of course wink martindale was involved um outside linebacker coach wilkins drew wilkins was involved and also his brother kevin wilkins was involved as well and depending on how you feel about brian dable you're either running with this story or you're chalking this story up as rumors um and bs so depending on how you feel if you already are not a fan of brian dable you're gonna take this story and run with it call it gospel um if you are a fan of brian dable you're gonna say it's all lies rumors and look at where it's coming from and also look where it might be the source or who might be the source of 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 the article for pat leonard and a lot of people draw the conclusion that it has to be coming from Wink Martindale's camp. It has to be coming from one of the brothers that were fired as well. And, um, yeah, I mean, it seems like that. It seems like that. But to me, I'm just going to keep it all the way real with you with my feelings and my opinion. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, Brian Dable is the head coach of the New York Giants. At the end of the day... Uh, Mike Kafka is the office of coordinator right now of the New York Giants. Now, will that change? You know, time will tell. But if they are going to make some type of change, it has to happen soon. In my opinion, it has to happen within the next two weeks, preferably before the senior bowl. Right. So with that being said, another. Oh, let me get to another part. Of, another part of the article was about how Brian Dable was taking play calling away for Mike Kafka. Now, if you've watched my channel throughout this season, um, you already know that I pretty much pointed out every time that I believe that Brian Dable was called in the plays. And I would say that every time you saw Brian Dable, because it wasn't usual, but every time you saw Brian Dable with the play sheet and he's covering his mouth, speaking into the headset, he most likely was calling plays. There was no one, because there's other points in games where you don't even see him with a play sheet in his hand. So whenever I saw that, that was just a tell for me that he was calling the play. So come to find out that not only was he taking play calling and giving it back, there's also a rumor that in some cases, Shea Tierney was calling plays as well. And I'm just sitting here like, if I'm Mike Kafka, if I'm Mike Kafka and the only reason why I'm here um, is because I was told that I was going to be the officer coordinator. I was told I was going to be the one calling the plays. I have to feel disrespected. I can't trust the head coach to let me do what I need to do. And if he's just going to keep on or if I run the risk of the play calling being taken away from me at any time, why would Mike Kafka be there? Why would I be there uh, to call uh, to call plays if I can't call the plays? It does not make sense, and um, it goes it goes back to thinking about a lot of people that are fans of Kafka. You know, they like you know if we lose Kafka, you know this, that, and the third. Listen, right now, if you really like Kafka, you, you probably want the guy to leave. He's only ruining his his rep. At the same time, Brian Dable might be, you know, uh, ruining his his rep. But for, for Mike Kafka, if you're not the one calling plays, like, what's the point of even being with the New York Giants at this point? And for Brian Dable, if you're just going to keep on snatching the play calling away and giving it back and sharing it between him and the quarterbacks, you just need to be the one to call plays. And it's funny, too, because when we first hired Brian Dable, I argued with people. Because a lot of people's like, there's no way that Brian Dable's going to let Kafka call plays. Brian Dable's going to be the one calling the plays. And I was arguing with a few people, with a few people. I'm like, there's no way. I'm like, Mike Kafka came here to call plays. He's going to be the one calling plays from jump. And the people like, no, you know, he, he can't. You know, Brian Dable has to be the one. Now we're sitting in a situation where Brian Dable might 
take over the play calling and now people have a problem with that as well so I, i've come to the conclusion that no matter what happens no matter what happens you won't be able to please everybody um and people are going to complain regardless it's the feelings are already set in stone and people are just going to complain regard like whatever side that you're sitting on you just there's no change in your mind the only thing that could possibly change people's uh mind is if we just look awful or we look fantastic if you're rooting for brian dable it would take him to actually what two three wins in order for people to move on if, if you if you're rooting against brian dable or you're not a fan of brian dable it would take him winning a division possibly um the giants winning a division in order for you to change your mind so it's a it's an impossible situation but i would say with an with an impossible situation the only thing you can do to succeed is to succeed and that's to win games uh winning is supposed to cure all that's you know i believe in that um i think last year brian dable acted the exact same way but because the new york giants won more games a lot of that slid slide they let it slide because you know the new york giants went to the playoffs and won a playoff game um because when you read a lot of these articles they're saying you know nothing has changed he's been acting the same way um you know for for two years now but you didn't see a lot of these stories come out until this year when a team was bad and the team was losing so um again when when you're winning games and i say this all the time when you're winning games nobody cares look at bill belichick People dealt with Bill Belichick's attitude for years, decades, because he was winning games. As soon as the situation happened, where whether it was Tom Brady left or it was, you know, a lack of talent or it was just Bill Belichick not, not being able to coach his team up again, you see that he's out of there. They don't want to deal with the attitude. They don't like the way he, he that he doesn't say much in press conferences. and this, that. They never liked it. They never did. But you never really saw the complaints until Bill Belichick started losing. So, again, nobody cares when you're winning games about your coaching style, nothing like that. When you're, when you're winning, everybody just has to deal with it. Oh, just deal with it. But, no, we're talking about a human element, people, you know, whether they feel respected or not. As, as men, as, as adults, you know, it is what it is. But for the fan base, for for the, the beat writers, for sports media, you, you didn't care. You didn't care when the you didn't care that Brian Dable was yelling when you know when the team was winning. So I, I'm I'm not really trying to hear that. But it is what it is. It is and again, this is my opinion. I'm entitled to it. If you disagree with it, fantastic. Let me know in the comments down below what you what you uh what you disagree with. I like to have the dialogue. I'm not right hundred percent of the time. Right now, the way that it's looking, I'm not right 60% of the time. Because the New York Giants had me full going into this season. But right now, the way that I'm feeling, I'm just thinking about Brian Dable. And it's like storyline after storyline. Bad press after bad press. What is John Mara thinking? Um, John Mara has shown in the past that he can be swayed by the fan base. Um... And he can make rash decisions because of it. And I'm just sitting here like, there's a there's a there's a time at the end of the season where if you want to make a wholesale change, you do that right now. We saw the Seattle Seahawks do it. We saw the Tennessee Titans do it. We saw the New England Patriots do it. You know, if you're gonna make a move, you make a move right now. That way, you still have a chance. To build a quality staff with the guys that are available now it's a lot of coaching um it's a lot of coaching spots or, or jobs available right now there's a lot of head coaches needed in the nfl and um yeah if you're gonna do something like that it has to happen now if you wait a week you know it just becomes harder and harder um the longer you wait um to make to make a move so for for for, for me I, I still think that Brian Dable is the coach going into 2024. I think a lot of the staff still is intact. 
there's a big decision to be made when it comes to the defensive coordinator. Um, we've, we've requested some interviews. We've had some interviews. Um, you, you need, you need to find that guy as well. So at right now, to me, I don't think Mara makes any kind of change when it comes to the head coach and Brian Day, but I don't, I don't think it makes sense to do that. You still need to have some kind, some kind of continuity. Um, you had one good season. You had one bad season. And now you have a chance with the draft capital that you have to go in there and get the quarterback that you want, you know, that you and the GM um, agree uh, agree on. And you have a chance to do that and try to move this team into the right uh, direction. Um, last year, I felt like we were moving in the right, the, the right direction. This year ended up being a, a big, big step back. And then you all, you know, all the storylines and, and coaches leaving and stuff like that. It's just a bad look for the New York Giants. Again, when you thought you were getting the, uh, ahead of it, when you go, when you thought you were moving in the right direction, boom, you know, storyline after storyline, week after week since we've been eliminated and since the season's been over. And it's just a black eye um, for the New York Giants. But again, I'm just sitting here, you know, I'm on, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on the bus. I'm taking the ride, going through the bumps and the bruises, the potholes and all that other stuff. And hopefully um, the right people, the right people, whether it's Brian Dable, whether it's somebody else, the right people get this ship or get this bus moving in the right direction, which I believe, I believe the New York Giants are closer to doing, especially if we're able to get the quarterback this year, especially if we're able to have a good free agency where we can solidify solidify this offensive line and um yeah protect protect whoever the quarterback is at the end of the day um and yeah so again nothing has changed just some more storylines brian dable is still the head coach of the new york giants and until then or until that changes it is what it is um and that's going to be my video um i'll keep on checking for any kind of updates that happen again this is just uh, article that came out from pat leonard you know some rumors some speculation some quotes um you know unsighted sources and um again yeah we'll see what happened i'm pretty sure there'll be even more stuff that comes out and especially when it comes to mike kafka like does mike kafka want to continue to stay in this kind of environment or is he just better off moving on whether it's a lateral movement or whether it's a head coaching job because he still is getting interviews um i don't believe he gets a head coaching job um, but i do believe that if, if the right opportunity comes along, he will, you know, make a lateral move as an OC for somebody else. But again, that's uh, something that we'll have to see in the future. But that's going to be the video. I want to thank everybody for vibing with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And from one Giants fan to another, this is Big Dash Nose, Big Blue Nation. Let me know how you guys feel in the comments down below. Well, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Let's go.